Patrick has a very, very good personality. He's very happy. He's very social. He loves to dance. Even when he was sick and he was having a hard time, he still tried to be happy. And since the day he was born, he was a fighter. We got calls from the pediatrician's office and the specialist office saying something is definitely wrong. We see masses on his lungs. It looks like he was a smoker for over 60 years. The waiting, it's, it's like torture. The, the waiting, it's, it's horrific. It's the anxiety, the stress, the worry. Everything that we can do to minimize that amount of time and minimize the uncertainty we would like to do. Having a molecular profiling lab here at Children's Hospital will help us do that. We envision developing a laboratory for molecular pediatric pathology, or LAMP for short. That laboratory would be responsible for developing tests that both increase the accuracy of diagnosis and shrink the time that it requires to get to that diagnosis. Every tumor is unique, every child is unique, and the care of the patient needs to be tailored to that patient. Dana-Farber Boston Children's Cancer and Blood Disorder Center is a really a unique place when it comes to precision cancer medicine because we have all in one area a world-class cancer center, a top-rated children's hospital, and really bright, intelligent, motivated researchers in Harvard Medical School. Being able to do these tests and do them in-house and do them in a very pediatric specific way will really allow us to make the best diagnoses for our patients and hopefully that will yield improved treatment responses and shorter treatment durations and fewer side effects for our patients and more kids walking out of the hospital sooner and healthier and happier. And because we were able to identify that gene change, he was eligible for a clinical trial. We would go to Boston it was every week for the first six weeks. And then after that time, we were in Boston every 28 days for almost two and a half years. Some people thought we were insane. It didn't matter if it took me six or seven hours to get home. If they were across the country, I would have figured out a way to do it. After one month of treatment, all of the tumors were gone. And after two years, he was able to stop treatment and continues to do well several months after stopping treatment. And we're very happy about that. I don't even think we really have words to properly express how we felt because it was just truly, it was just amazing. We as parents were looking forward to giving him the opportunity to start kindergarten. With all the unknowns, especially upon his diagnosis, you didn't know if that would ever even be possible. He was able to make that milestone. He's a brave little guy.